Oh, that's great. Well, Dr. Owings, it's really interesting that more medical doctors have not embraced this nutritional science. Why is that? Well, that's a great question, Todd. I I received a very good medical education. I was educated at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. We had a nutrition course, and when I got out and people started asking questions of me regarding nutrition, and I asked, started asking questions myself, I found I really didn't know any answers. When I went through the medical literature, I found there was a great deal of information there, and it has taken me a number of years to go through this and learn what I now know. Why don't more doctors embrace this? They don't have any training in it. They can't get medical education courses supporting it. And it's not a comfortable thing. You would have to go out and learn, spend many hours every day. And most physicians are overworked as it is trying to fulfill their paperwork requirements to a large extent. So that's the situation there. A light bulb moment for me was when a patient asked me one day, they had a a situation, just an arthritis situation, and it was really debilitating for them. They couldn't get any relief from over-the-counter medications anymore. They needed something stronger. They needed something more. And the person asked me, well, Doc, you know, what about when that prescription, because we were going to write a prescription for some non anti-inflammatories, that's usually the next step, what happens when that prescription runs out? And I said, well, we can write for refills, a few refills. And uh, he said, well, okay, what about when all of those run out? And I said, well, that's no problem. Come back to the clinic. We'll reevaluate you. We'll see how you're doing, and we'll see um, if you need something stronger. And he said, look,